Alvarin Sangoon has been absolutely tearing it up this season. All that size and length. The man already a terrific defender. Drop e step another Stop one. It. Stop it! Stop it! Oh, that's the sauce, baby! That's the sauce! And I think it's safe to say he's an extremely entertaining player to watch. Directing traffic. Spin move baseline. Double team. Behind the oh back to Christopher! My. For the dunk, he's got eyes in the back of his head. While he's been in the NBA, He's had to learn how to read the floor and how to manipulate the game in all of its different aspects. And he's become a master at manipulating situations to get baskets for him and his teammates. Thank you, OKC. Into the lane. Oh! <laughs> so when I throw you into the blender, I'll give you 10 different plays and you have to make the right read. But as we gradually progress, I'll begin to make it just a little more challenging with a twist. So, let's begin with the warm-up round. Your Alperin Sangoon gets the ball in the pick and roll, right at the free throw line, capturing the entire defense's attention. Should Sangoon A. Give it to Jalen Green in the corner. B. Give it to Jabari Smith and hope he hits the shot. C. Shoot a floater. I'll give you some time to respond. If you answered C, Floater, you'd be right. Sangoon has too much open space here to not pull a shot off. Are you feeling good after your warm up round? All right, let's begin. Sangoon pump fakes his man out of the way and now he can attack the defense however he wants. Should he A, shoot this, B, pass it to J. Sean Tate, C, hit Dylan Brooks in the corner, or D, hit Holiday in the corner? Sangoon starts by taking the last motion of his last step and elevates over the two defenders to give it to Jay Sean Tate for the triple. So B would be the right answer. Here Sangoon gets the ball at the top of the floor with all the options open for him. Should Sangoon A shoot it, B drive it in himself, or C give it in to the cutting Jeff Green, or D start another DHO with Fred Van Vliet. If you said C, you'd be right. Sengun looks like he's going to fire a shot off here, forcing Herder and Sabonis to close out, and uh, it gives Jeff Green the wide open lane. This play, Sengun is doubled immediately the off of the catch. So what should he do? Should he A, give it to Fred Van Vliet, B, initiate a DHO with Jalen Green, C, be patient and try to lob it to Jabari Smith, or D, Try to get to the rim. If you answered B, but why would you say that? There's Davion Mitchell right there, and there's going to be better opportunities on the floor. D was the real answer. This time in transition, as Sengun speeds up his aquatic run, he spins into oncoming traffic, creating another situation for the Rockets. So, should he A, give to Jalen Green? B, Dylan Brooks corner three. C, Jabari Smith dump off pass. Or D, hit Amen Thompson cutting from the corner. If you said C, you'd be correct. Sangoon pretty much just hands him the ball midair and it ends up turning into an and one. On this play, as the Sixers trap the ball handler in the pick and roll, it forces Sangoon into one of the most favorable advantages in basketball. So, what should he do? Kick it to the corner for Jeff Green for three? Kick it to the opposite corner for Jay Sean Tate three? Attack the center yourself, get the points. Or a Fred Van Fleet bailout three. As the play unfolds, you'll see it's more of a mix of B and C, and as Sengun takes one dribble towards the middle and spins, he finds the cutting green. So, give yourself full credit if you answered either B or C. Against the Nuggets, to gain this setup, Sengun gets the ball in the pick and roll, and help defenders just peel off to come and assist over onto Sengun. And this sets the offense into another high percentage scenario. So. Should Sengun A 
give it to Jabari Smith, B, kick it to the spotted up Jalen Green, or C, find a pass to Dylan Brooks, or D, score on yourself, big fella. If you said A, you'd be right. As Sangoon uses some snake eyes to fool the entire weak side defense into allowing the open dunk. As Sangoon backs down Markinen, here he sets up the Jazz into a bad situation, making them send help. So, what should Sangoon do? A. Kick it to Jeff Green for corner three. B. Shoot it. C. Amen Thompson shuffle pass. If you said C, you would be correct, as somehow Sangoon gets this beauty to go through. Now, this play, I'm going to pause it before Sangoon even gets the ball. If you notice closely enough, Sangoon actually calls for the ball because he has already made the pass in his head. So, where is Sangoon going to pass it? Is it going to be A, a corner three for Fred Van Vliet? B, Jabari Smith cutting lob? C, Dylan Brooks trailing three? Or D, Sangoon drives into the paint because Chet Holmgren is hanging out above the three-point line. If you said A, you'd be correct. I know Fred Van Vliet is off the screen, but Sangoon doesn't even have to glance over there to know he's open. Out of this inbound play, the Thunder load up against Sangoon, doubling on off of the catch. So, to set up a scenario, Sangoon takes two retreat dribbles back to the three-point line, and the double peels off. Now, Sangoon can reattack in isolation, bodying the weaker Chet Holmgren, and now I'll pause it. Should Sangoon give it to A, Jay Sean Tate, B, Tari Eason cutting from the three, or C, score himself, or D, kick it to Holiday for a corner three? You said D, you'd be right. Somehow he just, you know, I, I, <laughs> I don't know. I'm curious what your scores are on this because, you know, obviously I can't take the test because I know the answers. So, like, you know, grade yourself honestly, but I, I want to know. And here we are at our final play. Sengun gets the ball and all five of the Raptors have their attention on him. So, what should Sengun do? A. Give it to Cam Whitmore. B. Score it himself. C. Hit Amen Thompson on the cut. And if you said C, you're probably pretty good at noticing patterns because we've already seen Sengun get this bullshittery off before. And that's all I have for you today. I hope, I really hope that your ball knowledge has expanded at least just by a little bit by watching this video. And if you enjoy watching content even close to this, you should check out uh, the other stuff on this page, you know. I'm trying to get this channel started and any support would just mean a lot to me. It would really mean the world to me if you subscribe. So, uh, yeah, that's all I have. Oh, and Rockets fans, I absolutely think you'll love this Dylan Brooks video I've got for you right here.